In this video, I'm going to show you a powerful demo that is going to impress your customer. You are going to perform an inventory audit with 123RFID using an asset tag list. I have some tagged items. Some are on the table and some are on the shelf. I only want to do a count of the items that's on the shelf. If you perform a standard inventory, it will read everything. How do I know which of these items are from the shelf? Did I read them all that's on the shelf? Doing an inventory audit using an asset tag list, I can specify 123RFID to read only the items located on the shelf. At the end of the inventory run, I can tell if they are all present or something is missing. First, by looking at the count, I know how many I'm missing from the shelf. Two of the three tags are present. Second, from the data, I can tell which items are missing by looking at the item's EPC ID in red. Third, the utility displays an image of the missing item, in this case a running shoe, when clicking the camera icon next to the missing item. Now I'm going to show you an asset tag list or an ATL file in action. I'm going to do an audit of the palette of running shoes that I received. I have created an ATL file with the list of tag IDs of shoes that I'm expecting to read from the palette. I've connected my reader from 123RFID and my antennas are set up on the doctor. From the read panel, I will select my ATL file. All the tags from the file now are displayed red in color. I will now start the run and then move my palette of shoes through the dog door. Notice the tags will change color from red to dark when they are red. To do an inventory audit, I need to first create an ATL file with the EPC IDs of the shoes on the palette. I can also specify friendly names and images of those shoes. The ATL file contains the EPC ID of the tag, image location of the tag, and friendly name of the tag. Next, let's look at how to create this file. This is an example of an ATL file created in Notepad. The file is a list of comma-separated entries. The first entry is the EPC ID of the tag you expect to receive. This is a mandatory field. The second entry specifies the absolute file path of the picture associated with the EPC ID. This field when specified will allow display of the item picture when the item's EPC is read using 123RFID. The entry is optional. The third entry is the friendly name of the EPC ID and is also optional. Since all my EPC IDs belong to a bunch of running shoes, I use the friendly name running shoe for all my tags in this file. I save the file in default data files folder. The file needs to be saved as a CSV file. Here's my pictures folder where I save my tag pictures that I reference in the ATL file. With the ATL file created, you are now ready to do an inventory audit with 123RFID. Rewind back to the section of this video to watch ATL file in action within the tool. Within the 123RFID installer, find the ATL sample folder. Inside it, find the ATL sample CSV file that you can reuse for your demo, along with the pictures within the PIX folder. The how-to file walks you through the steps on how to use this sample from 123RFID. So in summary, what is an inventory audit using ATL file? It is matching actual item count against the counting record of items that are in the ATL file. It's also about highlighting missing items that's ideal for tracking shrinkage. What is an ATL file? A file containing record of tagged items utilized by 123RFID to perform an inventory audit. What's in an ATL file? Three things, EPC ID, image file path, and a friendly name. Where can you get the ATL file? In the 123RFID installer package, find the ATL sample.csv under the ATL sample folder, for example, in the file location below.